While working in different contexts in different places around the world, one of the most important things you have to learn from the beginning is cultural norms. Obviously, many countries, Nigeria, Ethiopia, Malawi, are going to have very different ideas of a way to be polite, a way to treat people, things that you have no idea. You could be insulting someone without being aware of it whatsoever. You have no intention of hurting someone's feelings or not listening to staff. And the next thing you know, you find out you made a big mistake. So the way to get around this, I found, is from the beginning to tell the staff please tell me if I'm doing anything wrong, I'm new here. They're often going to give you that leeway because they know that you're coming from someplace different in the same way that if they came to the States they would have to learn some of our cultural practices. You have to learn some of theirs. So to ask them, always be, I'm not sure, should I do this? Can I take a picture of you? Is that okay? Can I shake a man's hand? Can, should I cross my legs this way or that way? These are all things that may seem trivial, but really can make, give a person a different idea of you. And if the staff doesn't want to work with you, if they think you're rude, uh, for some reason that you have no idea, then you're not going to be able to do your job. Because certainly I cannot do my job without all the staff that work with us. Uh, you can't do it on your own, and if they don't want to work with you, then you are in big trouble <laughs> from the beginning. So I, I try to get on the good side of all the different people. I think there's usually guards who watch our office, or drivers. They're good people to know and good people to talk to because they'll tell you where to go around town, what to do. You can always ask them questions about what makes sense and what doesn't. And I think it's the only way to do, be able to do your job properly is to learn the cultural norms as soon as you get in. And to not try to say, well, in Nigeria I did it this way. This is a new, Malawi is a different, it's both in Africa, it's a totally different country, totally different setting. Um, I know as Americans I'm, I'm often speaking fast and I just want an answer. Whereas in Ethiopia, for example, it's the kind of place you just have to listen and maybe they're repeating, them. you feel like they're repeating yourself because I'm very used to yes or no answers there. It's the kind of place you have to talk and talk and talk and that's the way they do it. You're in their country. It's your job to, to learn their rules. You're there to work with them. It's not, they didn't come to your country, you're there to work with them. So I think for me it's always my responsibility to learn their cultural norms and to fit within them.